the seeds for the future program. Hoa is since 2008 developing children or young people with technological ability. Seeds for the Future program really helped me, not just um, the technical skills I gained, but it really helped me in a way, like in a personal level, it helped me discover a lot of myself. This program gives them the foundations uh, to pursue further of the entrepreneurship uh, journey. The most important thing about the whole event is about the learning experience and the journey with the team. I hope to win. There's 24 teams. Top 5 teams uh, can go to Singapore. I want to win. We are trying our best to win, right? So if I say I don't want to win, then I'll be lying. We, we have done so many things together, right? We worked. The goal now today is to be the top one, is to be the best one of ourselves. My name is Mai and I'm the seed from Cambodia. Growing up, I was living in a poor family. There are some traditional mindsets that women shouldn't be in ICT field because like, we're not having like, enough ability. I want to make more achievement and show them that, yeah, of course, we can do it. One of the great things I learned here from Seeds for the Future program mm -hmm. is about how these amazing people have ideas and how they, be, they will be able to solve certain problems in their countries. I am Bang On, 60 years old. Seed from Thailand. I'm here because I'll be watching you. Five, four, three, two, one. Uh, hi, boys and girls. <laughs> uh, I just want to say that, you know, you are already a winner in my heart. So your journey is starting from now and never stop. I think obviously we have a very good mix of, of students from uh, multiple backgrounds and multiple countries and that provide a very valuable, I would say, platforms uh, for these people to learn from each other. I will be able to uh, bring very fantastic ideas. I will apply this knowledge uh, to empower many youths in my country to solve the uh, social problems. We want to shift the future world with like all of the diversity and all of the women, like become more confident for them and become the best version of ourselves. When I was young, Zhang Xian, we didn't even have calculators. If I, I, could, I was good at arithmetic. I could do many things in my head. I did things when I was young that I never thought I could do. I tried and I did it. Some of you can do it. Do not be afraid to try. So on the first day of our trip to Thailand, on the welcome dinner day, we got to select our team leader. We met other participants from different countries, our other seats, friends, where we made a good connection. So for the team member, you just the sticker and just put on the back of the, your candidates, okay? If you want this person to be your team leader. Um. To be honest, <laughs> I'm the reader. When we met each other for the first time, I tried to make people engage into each other. That's why my teammates think you can 
be the team leader and try to make our team more like, familiar with each other. Selecting a leader for everyone is not a difficult one because you need to choose a one you can follow. However, I think that the first thing that they choose me for this reason is that I'm understanding that leadership here is to be actively immerse yourself in any activities of the team and also uh, take care of other people as a follower. So there's a saying called, learn hard and play hard. It's always great to see, you know, people in these generations, right, uh, recognizing and addressing and have the, uh, the passions to address these problems. And to me, it is very important because some of these problems has been with us for a long time. And, and now with the access to technologies in allowing us uh, to be improving the, the living conditions of, of everyone in this planet. This temple is beautiful, the best in Thailand. We went to the Emerald Temple of Buddha where we saw the long sleeping statue of Lord Buddha. And that was my experience. It was really amazing and joyful. It's so beautiful. I love uh, you know, the detail with the buildings. There's so much effort in there. And then, yeah, we learn a lot about our Thai. So Global Village was a very fun day. Every, every delegates from all their countries came in their cultural dress. We enjoyed the day very much. Our team was Nepal. We had presented our cultural snack, uh, our Nepal calligraphy, also known as Ranjana Lipi, for other delegates to visit. That is very interesting one. Because we have different races in Malaysia, there are three main races, Chinese, Malay, and Indian. So we prepared uh, three different types of dances. And aside from that, I got really interested in, in their culture, especially in the presentation where they have to present something related with the culture. You know, uh, the Global Village, we can have a chance uh, to explore uh, different cultures from countries in Asia Pacific in one place. For our team, we danced there. I don't know if it's great, but you know, it's just fun to be with someone and then you know, talk with everybody there. I expect to learn more about ICT trends like cloud computing, 5G technology and AI and also the VR. This is something that I'm so passionate about when I was young. Like, you know, being a young girl, I'm so curious about robotic, about um, computers and stuff. And this is such a great opportunity. And this is something that I always expect to learn it's about the ICT trends that are rocking the world today. I have learned how technologies can solve problems and how can we be able to provide solutions using technology. Actually, I've learned so many things about this program, not just about the Tech for Good competition. I've learned how to work with fellow delegates. I've learned the cultures of different nationalities, which is very interesting, and I wanted to work with them on the future as well. I have learned that technology is very important and essential, and um, I've realized that we, the youths, can make a difference in the future, not because um, we have this capability, but of course, um, because of the technology as well. Uh, some people say that 
winning or losing, it, it, it doesn't matter. The most matter here is that you can learn. Um, yeah, I agree with them, but I can learn from my, my lose. I can learn from my winning. I can learn it everywhere. I'm, I am not sure that we can, can gain the top or not, but I am sure that the goal now today I have discussed with my team is to be the top one, is to be the best one of, the, of ourselves. I get your idea. I want to shape the future too. But how? Huh?